Hi, my name is Kylie. I'm from Stampers Workshop and I'm an independent demonstrator in Australia. Today I'm using the beautiful Friendship stamp set to make my card. It's actually part of a colour challenge blog hop with the Stampers Anonymous Ladies. We're using lovely lipstick, Granny Apple Green and Night of Navy. That's such a beautiful colour combination. I was a bit unsure at first but I really love it and I really think I'll be using it a lot more. To start my card, I'm taking a panel of Whisper White cardstock. I usually take a, a whole pack of A4 and cut them into quarters. That way I can use them for card fronts or the inside of my cards. And I, I'm finding that I don't waste paper. Because in the past I would sort of stamp a bit, chop it off and then I get bent or whatever. Oh, I'm pointing to my hand there because wherever possible I recommend, particularly with these brighter colours, that after you've inked up the stamp that you actually close them because I um, I dropped it on myself. <laughs> Fortunately not on my project this time but uh, you never know what will happen so just if you can remember I don't always and you'll see it in this video I haven't um, try, and, try and close it. Okay you'll notice I've now got two panels that's because I stamped full strength on one and then I thought I wonder how it would look if I did it as the second generation as well. So I stamped it again without re-inking it and I think it's come up really well. So I'm kind of going to make two cards. Um, I'm just stamping in the, I guess it's the stamen. If you weren't restricted to colours like I am for this challenge, you could make them in perhaps um, any sort of yellow. I guess it depends on the colour combinations you're using for your card. Okay, here I'm picking out the, I don't know what that is, whether they're supposed to be leaves or or um, other flowers like lavender or whatever, but I think they're really pretty and I think they really add to this card a lot. I'm using the Knight of Navy and um, you'll see me point to the stamp. It's because it kind of looks like I haven't, re I haven't inked it up properly. It's darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. I have. It's just the nature of the stamp. It's designed that way to give a little bit more texture and dimension rather than having just a flat solid colour. Okay, now this set also comes with two lots of leaves and I think for interest I'm using both. This is also where I'm sort of changing up what I've just said to you about stamping the solid image on one and then using the second generation generation on the other without re-inking it. When I stamped off the, stamped the first image, I really liked the green and the strength of the green and I decided not to stamp off onto the second pa pa uh, panel. I wanted it to have that full strength. It complements really well and I think it would have just been a, a tad pale if I had stamped off. So this is my exception for the flower. Granny Apple Green is my absolute favourite of the greens. I use it for everything. It comes in the blends and the Stampin' Right markers as well. And if there's a flower to be coloured with leaves, I'm using that 99% of the time. It's not to say I don't like the other greens. I just think that Granny Apple Green is my absolute favourite. So now I'm looking for the sentiments to use on my cards. At first I was going to use the Birthdays Are The Best Days and then I decided that they were a little bit too tall for the design that I had started. So I went for, so very happy to know you on the paler one and on the full strength card I've gone for a very big congratulations and best wishes to you. I know that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? For the paler card, it was quite easy to know that the sentiment would look really pretty at the top. I'd put, just positioned my stamping in a lower spot and it just fitted in perfectly. The full strength card, that sentiment was a little bit bigger and I am denied for a little bit, as you can see, as to whether it would look good up the top or down the bottom. And in the end, I decided to go for the same layout. If I had stamped the image a little bit differently, I think it would have looked equally as pretty down the bottom. Of course, I, in this case, decided to stamp directly onto my panel, but you could obviously have stamped it onto a separate piece of paper and 
cut it out and popped it up or embossed it or and any number of ways of attaching a sentiment but for my project I've just gone for the one the one layer I'm now cutting up the card base and the reason I'm doing it before I sort of move on oh and this is the new paper trimmer you guys you're gonna love it it's got so many good features and it cuts so smoothly no dragging or anything like that it kind of oh anyway this is not about that we'll come back to that another day but I decided to cut the panel now because first of all I had to decide which color I hadn't chosen it at the start I thought I might have gone for the lovely lipstick but I decided since I ended up that navy is quite bold that it that I would do that but I wanted to sort of think about how I was going to cut it I thought about cutting it out with the stitch rectangles I thought about um oh, all sorts of things so I just wanted to get my panel on top of the cardstock base so that I could really assess what would look best now I'm sorry this is a little bit off camera but all I'm doing is basically cutting the panel down to size so that it fits onto my cardstock base doesn't that look pretty the next thing I thought was it, need, it needed a little bit extra so what you can see here is I'm tying some twine around it now that twine is actually dyed twine so I take a spool of the whisper white baker's twine and then there's a couple of ways you can do this I usually just smush some of the ink onto a large acrylic block add some water and then sort of put my length of twine in the coloured water smush it around let it soak into all of the the colour into the twine and then I put it aside to dry usually leave it hanging uh, be careful when you're doing that though you don't want it to stay in whatever it's hanging on and you don't want it to drip onto something because especially if it's a colour like lovely lipstick it will stain and I can tell you that for a fact because it's down to my table. Fortunately, the table I'm using is, it's a craft table, so it's well loved and it does have a few stains. But if you're using something else, you don't want that. Now, I kind of jumped, <laughs> let me tell you what we're up to now. I thought the back of this card needed a little bit more interest, so I actually ran it through my die cutting machine and with the subtle embossing folder. I love that. Anytime you just need a little bit of extra texture on your background, use that folder. It's perfect for it. It just gives, as I say, a little bit of texture and but doesn't detract, it always enhances. Now, I kind of cut this bit short because I use a lot of dimensionals. A lot. I like my panel to sit flat and the best way to do that is to put a lot of dimensionals. <laughs> so, yeah, if you if you only use a couple, you might want to look away now. I thought, as I said, I've cut it so that you don't have to watch me do that. Oh, and the other thing, if you've got fingernails and you struggle to take the backing off, I, I use tweezers often, and um, that really helps. Okay, so that's all done. 30 dimensionals later. And I thought it just needed one little thing. Rhinestones. Can't go past a little bit of bling. I love them. They're a perfect way just to add just that finishing touch. And I think it really finishes the card perfectly. So that's the first card made. What do you guys think? Pretty, huh? Now for the second card, I could have made it exactly the same way. But I kind of, I'd spaced things a little differently. It was a little wider and it was a little taller so as I said I could have I could have done it exactly the same way but I thought well let's make it it's a different sentiment let's make it completely different so I've taken one of my stitch rectangles which I use all the time I love it and run it I ran this through my die cutting machine and I love the stitched effect it's really pretty and this time I haven't added the um, Subtle's embossing folder 
I just you see less of the background and I didn't think it was as necessary but you could have easily done that the other thing you could have done there's some other images in this stamp set which would have looked really nice if I'd have stamped that around the background but I'm keeping this one a little bit more subtle and subdued so I went with the ribbon this is denim ribbon and it's really it's really nice it complements the night of navy background and it's not too overwhelming for the softness of the stamped images now if you've got not a lot of ribbon left or you're a bit more thrifty than I am with ribbon um, you could have just cut off say an inch and positioned it so that it was in the right spot um, I to be honest I thought there was more sticking out than there was um, and you can see there's only a couple of mils on each side so if you're worried about that you could just do a little cutting and be a bit more conservative but you know live and learn so now I'm just sort of positioning and that's where I go oh there's not a lot showing I then took some time and I explored using more of the ribbon around the front putting a bow of the ribbon adding some linen thread adding some more twine in the end I decided just to keep it simple you don't have to have a lot of stuff on your cards if you don't want to you can of course but you don't have to so I added just a few more rhinestones like I did with the first card um, you can't go wrong with a bit of bling the other thing I could have done which I didn't do which would have been nice would be to get some Wink of Stella and put that over the floral images I think that would have been really pretty now whenever I use a dark card base I generally put in an insert inside because I need to be able to write unless you've got like a white gel pen or something and you might not want it but it's easier if you just have a, a white panel to write on so I take one of the whisper white panels that I have pre-cut and I generally like to do something just in one of the corners sometimes I use a strip of pattern paper here I have taken some scrap paper stamped off the image of the flower once and then stamped into the corner and then I've taken the green leaf once again I haven't stamped this off because I don't think it needs to I've done the same panel as you can see for both of my cards and it's easy just to quickly snap that then I will grab my paper trimmer and I just cut off usually I cut off about a centimeter on both sides keeping in mind that I've already cut my A4 sheet into quarters sometimes this varies sometimes I will follow the same theme as the outside so I might do a, it matches what I've done on the front sometimes I just stick with the cut off the centimeter and stick it in I use the snail adhesive on the back and then just position it in doesn't that look pretty so I've done the same for both of my cards now you can also which I didn't do here but you can also stamp an envelope in exactly the same way whether you do it on the flap or on the front of the envelope I always finish off my cards by stamping my handmade by Kylie or in the case of dark cardstock I use the label these days and there you have it there are my two cards thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and have a great day bye